What's going on, O-Doers, and welcome back. Today, we're taking a deep dive into work centers. Specifically, we'll be talking about how to use a few settings on the work centers form to influence the expected duration of work orders carried out at those centers. So let's jump into our database to see how we can provide Odoo with information it needs to make those calculations. All right, let's start by opening the form for one of our work centers. I'm gonna go ahead and do that by opening our manufacturing application, selecting configuration at the top, and then down to work centers. And then we're gonna click on our finish station work center, which is used to apply wood finishes to our wood products. Now, we've already covered the fields at the top of the form in our work center basics video. If you haven't watched that one already, be sure to check it out. I'll also leave a link to it in the description below. Today, we'll be focusing on a few of the fields in the general information tab, starting with our production information. First up, we have our time efficiency field. The value entered here represents how efficient the work center is when it comes to processing work orders in relation to their expected duration. For example, the field currently shows 100%, which means a work order with an expected duration of 60 minutes will take 60 minutes to process. Now, if I enter 200% here instead, it means the work center processes work orders twice as fast. So a work order that normally takes 60 minutes would only take 30 minutes. For this example, let's enter a time efficiency value of 50%, which means work orders processes here take twice as long. Next, we have the capacity field. Capacity, this one's a little bit simpler to explain. Basically, this represents how many units of a product can be produced at this work center. So if I enter five in the capacity field here, this means this work center could process five units of a product at the same time. We'll just leave it set to this capacity of five for our example for now. Up next, we have our OEE target, which stands for overall equipment effectiveness. Here we can set a goal for how efficient we want the work center to be. This is calculated on the expected duration versus actual duration of work orders. By default, this is set to 90% since we don't usually expect a work center to be 100% productive, but of course we can adjust it as needed. OEE is based on a fairly complicated calculation that we examine in greater detail in our overall equipment effect in this video, so be sure to check that out for all the ins and outs of OEE. So before we move on to the workflow, I also want to point out two fields here in our costing information section, which is our setup time as well as cleanup time. These fields represent the amount of time needed to set up the work center before processing a work order and how long it takes to clean up after finishing one. Unlike the time efficiency and capacity fields, these are just flat values that are added on the total duration of each work order. So let's say it takes 15 minutes to set up as well as 10 minutes to clean up. And that takes care of all the fields we need to worry about for this work center. Now let's create an MO that requires this work center to process a work order and that will allow us to see how the values we just entered affects the expected duration of the work order. So I'm gonna go ahead and select operations, then manufacturing orders, and then select new. Then I'm gonna select our bench product in the product field. And this product requires the stain operation, which is carried out at our finished station work center. Under normal conditions, it takes 10 minutes to complete the stain operation. And we can go ahead and see that in the products bill of materials or BOM. If I wanted to view the bomb, I could go ahead and do so by clicking this right arrow next to the bill of materials field. However, let's just keep moving on with this workflow. Now, I want to manufacture a total of 10 benches. So we'll go ahead and enter that in the quantity field. And then from here, let's go ahead and click on our work orders tab to see our stain operation. In the expected duration column, we can see that it takes 65 minutes for this operation for all 10 benches. But if it takes 10 minutes for each bench to be stained and we're manufacturing 10 benches, shouldn't the number be 100? How did we get to this number? Well, let's do a little bit of whiteboard math. It takes 10 minutes to stain one bench and we're carrying out the operation for 10 benches. That leaves us with a total number of 100 minutes. However, since this work center has a time efficiency value of 50%, it's gonna take twice as long to complete the operation, which gives us a duration of 200 minutes. This work center can also process five benches at once, meaning we can process a work order in one fifth of the amount of time it would normally take, which leaves us with 40 minutes. Finally, we have to consider the 15 minute setup time and 10 minute cleanup time. After adding both of these values to our time of 40 minutes, we arrive at our final value of 65. With those calculations already done for us, all we have to do is confirm the MO and keep processing and moving on from there. 
And there you have it, Odoers. You now know how to use the fields on a work center form to properly calculate the expected duration of work orders. Now that you've seen one example, I encourage you to play around with the work center form by entering different values and seeing how they interact. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time.